pin, brush pin. What art thou, brush pin? Are you a pin, for ink is within? Or are you a brush, for bristles I may touch? $4.99, that's cheaper than I was expecting. Hmm, I think, I think I found what I was looking for here. It's actually brus, um, brush bristles. I don't know about, I don't know if you guys have a moment of truth here. Oh, it is preloaded. Heck yeah. I didn't even need to buy that thing of ink. Wow. Pretty cool. So what I was saying was I've I bought like brush pins in the past that were made of a foam like material. Kind of like a Sharpie almost. And I wanted one that had actual bristles, like a br like a real paintbrush. And this one actually has real bristles, so I'm super excited. This is actually what this is what I would consider a, a real brush pin. Because the, the foam, that's not a brush. It's like a marker. So I think that's false advertising to be honest. But the, the cool thing about brush pins are, as you can probably see, is you can get a very wide range of line thickness. So yeah, so that's cool. I'm just going to play around with this a little bit, see what kind of things it's capable of. Yeah, there it is. There's my little, you know, picture of a park. Um, there's a cloud. Uh, that was supposed to be a stick figure, but I'm still getting the feel for the paintbrush tip, the paintbrush pen, whatever. You know what I mean. But, you know, I drew like a little pine tree looking thing. I drew another type of tree, possibly a maple or an oak or something. Those were supposed to be birds. And then there's obviously a bicyclist. And uh, yeah, you can see like, you can get some, you can get some pretty decent detail, like surprisingly, if you're like super careful, like, look, here's my finger. Like you can see, you know, that's some pretty good detail for a little, you know, a medium size paintbrush. And then of course you can see like, you know, that's about as thick of a line as I feel comfortable making with the brush. Because, uh, you know, as you can see, like it gets... Like, I don't want to, like, break the brush. I just, I just bought it. I don't want to, like, damage the bristles. But, like, if you push down more than that, like, you could potentially damage it. You know, if you're really, really rough with it, you know, you can damage it. But if you're, like, gentle, just gent, you know, it'll be fine. And plus, this thing, honestly, was so cheap. I think it was like, <laughs> I don't even think it was five bucks. I don't, I can't remember off the top of my head. I'll, I'll mention that later in the video. But uh, yeah, so far I'm kind of really liking this, honestly, cause like, look how easy it is. You just pop the cap in, boom, stick it in your pocket and you're good to go. You could take this to like, uh, autograph signing <laughs> um, event if if you're like a you know well-known <laughs> person um, you can just take this to the park with you and draw from 
like, like real trees. You don't have to just use your imagination like I did. You can take this with you, bust out your sketch pad, paint. You can basically, I mean, basically just paint or ink anywhere you want, like super conveniently, as opposed to like having to, you know, be super duper careful not to spill and, you know, then you have to like clean your brush afterwards. This like is actually kind of amazing because I don't, you don't even have to wash your brush out at the end or you don't have to have like solo cups full of water that you have to like constantly clean your brush and then dump it, make sure it's nice and clean. This, I mean, I'm hoping we're, we're going to find out, I guess I'll, I'll have to wait like a month <laughs> or something and then see if it's still like you know see if it's all dried and crusty or if it's still good and usable um but first impression right out of the box or wrapper um it's a big win big win 